back to a brand new episode of Rose Wolf. My name is Eros, and today we are going to be working down in our rainbow laboratory because last episode we got our very first dinosaur egg. We have a Triceratops! I am so excited. So we're going to work on making like a little holding room for our dinosaurs in our rainbow lab so we can build that room and then eventually build them a forever home somewhere else. Much bigger and much nicer, so we're gonna work on that today. And I did do some digging off camera, so let's get building. We're gonna go building today. Today is a building episode, so we're gonna grab a bunch of this material that I have already smelted. And we're also gonna need some stuff from in here. Um, <laughs> we're gonna need some laboratory blocks, and uh, we're gonna need some of this blue stone. And we're gonna need more inventory room because we have a lot of stuff in here. Uh, we're gonna put this dirt in here for now. We'll put this little meadow grass, bone meal. Uh, we'll put our whistle in here. Our map. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff we need. Uh, let's go over here and we're going to... We're gonna need some more light blue. And let's see. Future blocks. Do we need these? I'm not too sure if we need those. I'm gonna bring them just in case. And we're going to need some special dirt. And I think, think we're pretty good for now. Uh, we could always come back later if we need more supplies. So let's go get building. Um, let's see let's see how our puppies are doing out here. How you doing, guys? Hello. Hi, Kyle. Hi, Hunter. Hi, Sophia. And I think JoJo is actually in there. Oh, my gosh. Hi. Hello. Sir? Yeah. Attack them dogs! Attack dogs! You did a good job. Um, I think Jojo is actually in her house right now, so let's see. Jojo? Are you okay, Jojo? Oh my, there is an Enderman in my house. Oh my god, it's hitting me. It's hitting me. It touched me. It touched me! It touched me! Enderman, where you is? Enderman? Uh, I don't know where he is. But he's scary. He's kind of come after me. Alright, um, let's get a dog whistle, and Jojo, why don't you roam around here? You have free room for now. Uh, Buddy is still in the laboratory, so let's go. Hi, Mr. Sir, ma'am, and pig. How are you guys doing today? There's a skeleton outside of my house. What is going on? Why are we under attack? And I wonder if the Enderman is going to come back and try to eat us. I don't know. But let's hurry up and go to the laboratory. Hopefully everything will be okay. Uh, let's go say hello to our chocobos before we go. Hello, Charlie. Hello, Amaya. And hello, Stitch. Hope you guys are doing well today. And Random Tree Pig. Hello. How are you doing today, Random Tree Pig? Um, and Bernardo. We cannot forget you. How are you doing? You look very hot, as always. Alright, so let's go down here. <laughs> We're going to do some building. Let's drink some apple juice before we go delicious apple juice delicious oh, my pick is almost broken that is very unfortunate but we're gonna keep going hello professor cow dude um so I've dug out this area over here and I th I'm not sure if this will be big enough I have a feeling that we're gonna have to make it bigger but for now we're gonna have it around this size uh, maybe we'll have it eventually come out here and maybe even further back because uh, we're gonna be having dinosaurs in here just for a short amount of time um, all right, so let us fill in some of this stuff. There we go. We're gonna fill this in. And we're gonna go like this. And then we're going to need our blue stone. And we're gonna put that here for now. We might change this up a little bit in the future, but for now I just want to get some walls put in here so we kind of know what we're doing. Um, we're gonna put this here too. And then blue will go here in here and let's break this there we go we're doing things things are getting done up in here um we're gonna need this here this this and i think we'll just put blue here for now we might change it up in the future but there we go uh we're gonna need a wall over here so excuse me mr cow there we go we'll have this and then we'll have this wall Kind of like over here, let's see. Oof, oof, there we do. We did it. All right, we're running low. <laughs> the blue clay is on, or the blue stone. Oh my gosh, we're gonna need so much of this stuff. But let's just go like this for now. 
And actually, we can kind of break this. We'll break this one because this one's a little bit more expensive. And then we'll go like this. And, ooh. Actually, I think these ones are different. Yeah, these ones are a different one. So we're going to have to redo these. <laughs> These are not the right laboratory blocks, guys. These are not the laboratory blocks we wanted. Alright, so let's hurry up and get those. And let's get our chisel. Where that chisel is. And let us... Let's see, which one were they? Were they the large tiles, I believe? And then that should be... Yes, that is exactly what we wanted. Awesome. Alright, so let's place these. There we go. We're having a wall. Not a ball, but we're having a wall right now. <laughs> um, all right, stone. Oh, I'm so glad I brought all that stone with us and that die because we're gonna need to redo it like now. That's a lot of stuff. Actually, let's just break this. So we can finish this wall. There we go. Perfect. All right, so we got that wall sorted out a little bit. Um, so it coming together there we go and over here uh, I do want to make some I think it's the factory blocks I think if we go like this and I think it's stone yes we can make these factory blocks and with those we can actually make the caution type of blocks that I like to use I think we made like way too many though but that's okay um Let's see, we'll put Buddy's food in here for now. The whistle, uh, the golden lasso can go in here. Sheepy, you're gonna go in here. And we should be pretty good. All right, so let's get this out. And where did I put my chisel? Chisel, where are you, chisel? Guys, do you see my chisel? Did I drop it? Where's my chisel? Chisel, chisel, let's see. Oh, there it is, it's right there, oh my gosh. I was like, where is my chisel? I don't see it, why didn't you guys tell me it was right there the whole time? <laughs> um, but we're gonna get this yellow uh, factory block, kind of like little caution tape, just to be like, hey, there's some really scary stuff happening over here, you gotta be careful. Um, and then we're gonna put it in the walls, or actually the floor right here. And then we're also going to put it right here as well. This is for authorized personnel only. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then I think we're going to also put it, like, around here, I think? We can always change it up as we go. Although, since we've made so many, we might as well use some up. And then we're going to have glass over here. Kind of like similar to how we have our birds. So let's do this. And the cow's in there. The cow's like, I want to be a dinosaur. Well, cow, I'm sorry, but you are not a dinosaur. Um, so we're going to fill this up with glass. And hopefully this will be okay. We'll probably have a door somewhere. Um, so we'll probably have it. And over here is actually going to be a wall, I think. Let's replace this and then break this one, unfortunately. And we're going to need some... Let's get some of this wood. This eucalyptus wood is very beautiful. I think I have... Do you have any in here? I have the logs. And let's make some of this so we just have it. And let's place this back. So much stone! That's all the stone is from this over here. <laughs> this took forever. Oh, hi, cow! Yay, you're no longer a dinosaur. I'm very proud of you. Um, but let's place this here. And we're gonna have to break that. I need a I need like to get a silk touch pick. I don't have like a level 30 enchanted pick, and it's so sad. But one day, we're getting pretty close. We're at level 24 right now, so pretty soon we will be able to enchant a brand new pick. And then we should be pretty good to go. Um, let's see. And I do want glass here. But is it going to be weird? I mean, we could have, like, a little indented type of area. I mean, that would be fine. 
Um, let's just use that for now. Let's put the glass. I wonder if... Ooh! We did something. <laughs> we did something weird. Something weird just happened. Um, but let's go like this. Maybe we'll have it like... Oh, am I getting those blocks back? <laughs> Give me my blocks! Okay, you can't have them. They're not yours. Hmm. Maybe something like that. I mean, that could work. And then let's just put some logs right here. We'll have a little indent. <laughs> um, and then we're going to need a couple more. Did I put them back? I think I did. Uh, it's really dark in here. We really need some torches. I don't want any scary things to spawn in here. Um, let's put one over here for now. And then, let's see, how is this looking? This is looking pretty cool, actually. I'm pretty excited. Guys, we're gonna have dinosaurs. That is amazing. Um, but let's get a little bit more of this. And we should be pretty good. Alright, so let's go put this down. And then for the floor, I think we're gonna use like a mixture of those like really special dirts. Uh, we have some of them. Like these ones. I think that's kind of like what we did for the birds. Let me go check just to make sure. Because I kind of want them to be a little bit similar. Not exactly the same. But yeah, we did use like the special like chiseled dirt in there. So let's do that for it in here as well. I think that looks really cool. So we're going to get our dirt ready. And we also use marble. I didn't grab any marble, but we're going to use that for the walls. Um, so let's just place some dirt. Let's place this. And maybe we'll have like a mixture of the this type of dirt as well. And just kind of like have a little bit of variation of dirt throughout this little habitat area. I think that would look really cool. So we're just going to kind of like randomly go in and place some of that. And then we will fill in with this. And I think that's what, that looks really cool. And I have an idea. I want to put a nest in here as well. I think it's going to look really cute. Um, I have an idea for that using the uh, Carpenter's Wedge Slopes. And I think it's going to look amazing. Um, let's go like this and let's get some more. Let's see what kind of variations. I think this is what we're using for like the main. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So let's go like this. And fill in the rest of this. And then we're going to need to get some marble. <laughs> I forgot the marble. Guys, why didn't you tell me? You know we need marble. Okay, why didn't you tell me? Um, but there we go. This is coming together pretty well. And I think this looks really cool. And then we can spruce it up with like some different like plants and some flowers. I don't want to put too much in here. Because I kind of want to see how big the dinosaurs are actually going to get. And I have a feeling that this area will not be very good uh, for more than a couple like Minecraft days of the dinosaur's life. Because... Dinosaurs can get pretty big, and I know Triceratops get pretty big, so we're, we're definitely going to have to make a forever home for him or her uh, very soon, because they can't stay in here for that long, but I think it'll work for now, so I'm going to go get some marble, and then we're going to fill in these walls, and they're going to be marble fine. Professor! Professor, I've done it! I finished! I finished creating the area. Are you excited? Because I'm really excited. You look excited. Hello? Hi. <laughs> um, Alright, so I have my little Triceratops egg in here, and we're not quite done yet. There's still a couple of things that we need to do, but I finished around this area, and we've done some things. Buddy is here. Hi, buddy. You excited? We're going to witness the miracle of life. The birth of a baby dinosaur. <laughs> um, so hopefully this will turn out okay. So I have the room in here. I don't think it's going to be big enough. We're probably going to have to expand on this dinosaur room, but I'm really excited. I want to see what this little triceratops look like. So we're going to build a little nest and I'm not too sure how big I want to make it. Let's see what if we do something like this. Uh, we're going to need more room. We need more room. <laughs> uh, let's go out a little bit over here. Let's see. I don't know. This might be a mistake. <laughs> um, but we're going to see if we can make something pretty cool. So let's go like this. And then if we change these, will this... This doesn't do anything pretty. 
we can go like that that may look pretty 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 um well, let's go like this and then maybe we'll fill it with leaves to kind of make like a nest for our little eggy a little egg friend um i'm not sure if we'll get trapped in there though we'll have to watch and see um but what if we go like this and then maybe we'll come out over here and maybe we'll fill the bottom of this with leaves as well to see how it looks so let's go like this and then i do want to add some decorations around here but i'm not too sure if it'll interfere with the dinosaurs um but we can put a couple like put a couple leaves like some over there maybe like a couple over here oh that might get in the way um and we can add some like foliage too didn't bring too much i brought a couple I have these two. Oh, <laughs> it's so cute. It's so tiny. But we can add this for now. Um, we're also going to need to make something called a feeder because uh, Triceratops can actually feed from this machine. So let's go like this. And in order to make a feeder, we're going to need iron, glass, bucket, stone, and a button. And we should have some of those. Oh, I think I used on my stone. No. Why? All right, so let's go make a feeder. Let's go back to base. Um, buddy, do you want to come? You can come, buddy. Come with me. And maybe we can pick out a couple more, like, decorations, like flowers and stuff. I don't want to put too much, though. I'm not sure it's how it's going to react. This is all an experimentation, okay? We are learning. We are learning how to take care of dinosaurs. And it is nighttime. And I am scared. Nobody eat me, please. Please nobody eat me. Thank you. Yes, nobody ate me today. I'm very excited. Uh, well, let's go down here. And let's get some of the stone. Uh, we're going to need to make a button as well. Um, and we have a bucket. Uh, we'll need some glass. Let's see. I have some glass in here. And we should be pretty good to go. Can I go like this? Yes. We have a feeder. Um, so I did make a little clipboard for our Triceratops. So uh, if you go to the first page, uh, Triceratops will eat leaves and plants on their own. Um, but you can hand feed them wheat, bread, apples, melons, and potatoes, and you can order them around with a stick, which seems kind of mean, but you'll see what I mean <laughs> in the future. Um, so I think in the feeder we can put wheat, bread, apples, melons, and potatoes, just like you would if you hand fed them. So, we don't have too many. I know I have potatoes and apples over here. Hi, buddy. Uh, do you want a snack? Do I have food for buddy? Buddy, you want some chicken? Buddy? Alright, he'll come. He'll come for chicken. Okay? He'll do it. He'll do it for chicken. Um, but hi, guys. Hi, Sylvia. Um, so let's go over here. And let's grab some of our potatoes. Um, was carrots in the list? Carrots were not in the list that I know of. Bread, apples. Alright, so let's grab some apples too. We're going to need like tons of food. We're going to have to make a special farming area just so we can feed like all these dinosaurs because they're going to eat a lot. And you're going to need more. We need more food, but I'll definitely keep an eye on it. Um, in the beginning, of the are you ready? There you go. Thank you. I need your apples. Um, but who's over here? And we have Kyle. Kyle. How are you doing, Kyle? You doing good? That's good. Alright, so let's go put down our feeder. Um, I was going to grab some more foliage as well, but I don't want to put too much. Let's see what we have in our chest over here. We can grab... These are like pretty cool. Um, we could add a rose. I don't want it to take up too much room though. Uh, we could add some clovers. That would look pretty cute. And maybe a couple tulips. Yes. And maybe some of these. I know there's some special plants that you actually can get in the Fossils and Archaeology mod. I'm not too sure how to get those. I think if we put the, like, different plant stuffs um, in one of those machines, maybe we can get some stuff. Uh, maybe we'll try to do that right now and see. So let's go back down here into our laboratory and work on some dino stuff. Ooh, let's go through here. But yeah, I think if we... Let's go. Hello, professor. Hello. Hello. Excuse me. Um, but I think if we take some plant fossils, 
And do we put it in the machine as well? I'm not too sure. Um, I do have some milk. Oh, I had some milk in here. I guess that maybe it goes away over time. Um, did I, I use my bucket to make the feeder, but I do have some iron on me. So we might as well make a brand new bucket for milking. So let's make one of those. I'll throw this in the ground for now. And I'm not sure if this is going to work, but we can try it and see if it works. Uh, thank you for the milk. Uh, if we put this, will this do anything? Plant fossils. Hmm. I don't know. Can I put them back in here? Ah, looks like it's doing something. So, we're analyzing the plant fossils. And what are we going to get from those? Let's see. Oh, okay. So, we did get fossilized seeds. So, are these ready to go then? Can I plant these or do I need to do something else to them? I'm not too sure. Um, but, oh my gosh, so much stuff. Uh, let's put some of this stuff away. Oh, we do have like some carrots and potatoes. I don't think carrots are on the list. Uh, but the potatoes, and we don't need that leaf in there. Let's move this over here for now. Um, we got coal and ooh, plants from the past. Ooh, achievement get. So do I need to put this in here, or is this good? This probably is good to go. We can try planting one of these. I'm not too sure if it's going to work. Um... But let's, ooh, we got cactus green, too. That's pretty cool. Nice. Um, let's put some of the stuff. Give me this stuff. I want all this stuff. All this stuff is belong to me now. Thank you. Um, alright. So we'll have this. Oh, uh, let's move this. Put it in here. So many stuffs. Guys. So much stuff. Um, but yeah, we got some more seeds. Alright, so can we plant these now? I'm not sure. Let's see. Will you let me plant you? I don't know if I'll be able to plant this seed on this type of dirt, but we'll see. Uh, if we get normal dirt, perhaps. See, so I have some normal dirt on me. And if we put you here, does it need to be hoed? How do I do this? <laughs> what do I do? Uh... Let's try hoeing it and see if anything happens. I'm not too sure. We're learning here. Um, I might have to do some research on this to figure out how these work. Um, but I'm going to need some sticks. Do I have any wood? I do have wood. There we go. And let's make some sticks really quick. And put these in here. Make an iron hoe because we're fancy. We're definitely fancy up in here. And let's go buddy some chicken. Buddy, want some chicken? There you go, buddy. Um, and let's just see what happens. If we hold this, okay. Uh, we're gonna need some water. Can I do it fast enough? No, maybe it's too dark. Hmm. All right, so I'll have to do some research to figure out how these seeds work. Or if you guys know, um, you can let me know down in the comments. Uh, but we'll have like this foliage. Uh, let's put some of this stuff away. Oh yeah, and I do want to make um, a Dinopedia, but in order to do that, it's going to be kind of sad. I'm going to have to use some DNA that I already have. So let's go over here, and I think we're going to use the Triceratops DNA, because we already have a Triceratops. So if we use a book and any kind of Dino DNA, we can get a Dinopedia. So this will be good, and it will tell us information about our dinosaur, which is really nice. Uh, a little bit sad, though. <laughs> Not gonna lie. A little bit sad. Uh, can I place clovers on these? I can! That is awesome! Alright, so let's place some clovers around here. Beautiful. Uh, we'll place some of these. Oh, that's so pretty! It's so pretty! Uh, we'll do this for now, and then maybe a couple of these. Oh, those are so cute. They're so cute! Uh, let's put one over here, and then we might as well use this one. Put that one over there, and then a little bit of color. We can put... Ooh, I can't put these flowers. Never mind. We can't use these flowers. <laughs> Alright, so let's put down our feeder. Uh, let's put it right there, maybe? And then if we put 
food in it. There we go. There's some, there's 300 food. And then we put the potatoes and then the sweet. <laughs> um, it's low right now, but it has 973. So that should be pretty good. And then I think for the egg, we're going to need a torch. I'm not too sure. I don't know. Let's drink some apple juice for some good luck. Um, and let's close this. And I think we are ready. We are going to put the egg down there. Oh my gosh, that looks beautiful. Uh, oh gosh, we can't put a torch in here. Can't put a torch. Oh my goodness. Uh, emergency. Oh, there we go. Everything is going to be fine. Oh, all right. So now I guess what we do here is we just kind of wait and see if we get a baby dinosaur. I'm really excited to see what happens. Uh, but hopefully... And it will hatch into a beautiful Triceratops, but we'll see. Let's wait here. Um, I think it takes around like five minutes, so I'm just going to hang out over here, guys. You can count on me. I'm going to sit here, and I'm going to wait until this little guy hatches. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Oh my goodness. You were so cute. Hello. Hi. Hi! Oh my gosh, do you guys hear that music? It is so beautiful! It is so beautiful! We did it! <gasps> Hi! Owner, E Rose YT. We can use a stick. <gasps> that is amazing. We have a baby Triceratops! Oh my goodness. Okay, um. Oh my goodness. Alright, so zero days old. Um, it's full food and. Or not full food, but it is full health. All right. Oh, hi. Um, okay, this is awesome. Um, let me get a stick and see what I can do. Um, oh my goodness, that is amazing. Hi, welcome. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, little guy. All right, you're on free move. Stay, follow. All right, let's see if you're on free move for now. And, oh my gosh, what was that noise? I'm terrified. What is happening? I literally just jumped. But I'm excited. I have a dinosaur. We have a baby dinosaur in here. This is so cute. Hi. How you doing, little guy? Um, I think I'm going to name this one. I think that noise was eating. That was so scary. Okay, it's scary when you eat. Um, but I think, um, I'm going to name this little guy Sarah after the Triceratops and Land Before Time. Oh my gosh, guys, we have a baby. It's so cute. I just want to sit here and like watch him. He's so tiny. All right, this little guy's going to grow up to be pretty big. And something really cool about this type of dinosaur is, um, Sarah can actually, um, you can actually use her. You can actually ride around on her. So this is going to be awesome. Oh my gosh, she makes little noises. It's so cute. That is amazing. Um, all right, so her food. Does she eat anything from here? Oh, uh, yeah, she did eat some stuff from here. Okay, so she's eating. That is awesome. So we're definitely going to have to make sure that we keep this full. We're going to have to make some farms for her little guy. You are so cute. Hi, Sarah. Happy birthday. Oh, this is awesome. But I hope you guys guys enjoyed this episode and let me know what you think down in the comments below and make sure you leave some name suggestions for some other type of dinosaurs that we are going to get in the future but this is amazing we have our very first little dinosaur oh my gosh you're so cute um i'll see you guys in the next one bye